It was April 20th, 1999. Two heavily armed Columbine students walked into their school and opened fire. They killed 12 students and one teacher before killing themselves. Have you ever actually recovered from this? No. I mean, post, so haunts you. Yeah, it does. Frank I mean, DeAngelis was the principal that day, as he is today, at Columbine. What went through your mind when you heard about what happened in Connecticut? You've been there. I was in a state of shock um, immediately. My heart was just broken and kind of nauseous, to be honest with you. His first thoughts were of the agonizing moments as the news spread. The thing that weighs on my mind is when parents are waiting in a room and students are not coming to them as they, other parents had received their kids. And I'm sure every parent who was in Connecticut today when they heard the news were wondering if that child, their child was in that classroom. Feelings that flooded back this year with the shooting at a theater in Aurora, Colorado, about 20 miles east of Columbine High. In the years that you've thought about it, have you ever put it kind of together? Yeah. I think the question that I get asked when I do uh, go out and speak on occasions is, what could stop it from happening? And the thing that I keep stating time and time again is what causes so much hate in people's heart that they're willing to walk into an elementary school to injure or kill kids? Where, where did this start? And he has one plea from a teacher who lived through it. Don't allow these people to die in vain. Violence has to stop in our schools. We have to come together. DeAngelis and others here at Columbine High School say, you don't get over this kind of tragedy, Scott. The scars are forever. You know, Barry, we were talking to Nancy Cordes earlier. I was wondering, is there any talk in Colorado about changing gun laws there? Indeed, if you look at this morning's Denver Post, the headline is about Colorado's Governor John Hickenlooper, who says maybe it is time to rethink gun laws. Now, he said this, Scott, before today's events and in reference to the Aurora Theater massacre. But when you have a Western governor who says something like this, it's going to add fuel to the whole gun control debate. Barry, thanks very much.